Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today, you guys, okay, get your cup of tea, honey, because I got some tea to spill. Talk about how things can shift in one week. Boy, I had some fun things and some little expensive projects that came up and all of that I need to talk about. So if that sounds like something that interests you, oh wait, hold on. And <laughs> I'm also gonna be budgeting um, a weekly budget every week for the month of April. So this is my weekly budget that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. And we'll do some cash stuffing of cash envelopes, sinking funds, and maybe a few savings challenges. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. Y'all, with all the things I want to discuss with you in this particular video, this one can get quite long. I forgot to even talk about the fact that we're going to be budgeting today. So <laughs> yeah, that's how that ended up in the beginning. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. So first and foremost, I do want to go ahead and use my phone and let Siri pick a number for our April showers because we need to pick a, a winner from last video, right? Okay. So let's get on that first and foremost. So hold on one second. Let me ask Siri for a number. Hey, Siri. Can you pick a random number between 1 and 75, please? A random number between 1 and Ooh, 75 is 60. Y'all see that? She said 60. Somebody's about to win $60 today. So hold on. Let me get my computer so we can look up TubeBuddy and see who commented 60 that TubeBuddy is going to pick as the winner for today, okay? Isn't it fun? All right, so it has chosen. The winner is Brie Anderson, and her comment says, 60, I had a pit bull named Jada. She was so cute, but I was over the activeness she had, so I got a parrot that froze to death. I'm doing better with a cat now. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. I was getting so sad with some of these comments about the way you guys animals pass away. I'm like, oh no, not froze to death? I mean, and this ain't the only person whose animal froze to death. I'm just going to be real with you. So, um, yeah, I, I was joyful in some parts of the comments and, oh my gosh, so sad in other parts. I thank you guys all for commenting. Bree, contact me on Instagram so you get your $60 ASAP. And now, if you guys want to be a part of April showers, then what you need to do is comment a number down below and we'll go back to 1 to 50 for this video so some number between one and 50. And Siri, again, in my next video, will pick the number and the dollar amount of the winner, right? Because your number is your dollar amount that you will win. And also, you'll be answering a secret question that'll be embedded somewhere within this video. And since this, is a little, since this one's a long one, I would suggest that you get you something to drink to sip on while we talk about some things, okay? But first, let's get to this budget. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. I need to order another one, of another one of these books myself because, you guys, I have just about filled it up. We're to the back of the book right now, so, yeah. Let me get um, the next budgeting page. And I really need to come to you guys with a monthly budget, and I think I might do that. You know, this time I wanted to get out a budget and a cash stuff really quick now that I'm just getting back in town. But I do need to set up one for the whole month. So I'll kind of come back and explain that a little bit later. That'll be a new a next video coming up, okay? Or I don't know about the next, but it'll be one of the newer videos coming up. All right, so for this video though, what I decided to do was for the month of April, trial out just taking out $700 every week out of my account towards expenses, cash stuffings okay and then at the end of the month i'll assess how much extra money i have and what i want to do with that whether it be put it to taxes um invest some move it to a separate shield account where i don't even touch it or come back and put some into more savings challenges and more cash stuffings and things like that okay so every week i will be bringing a budget and cash stuff which is kind of similar to what my income used to be when i was a nurse or what I think I know I need to survive and have a little bit of cushion extra so I can use towards my sinking funds. So that was the goal in this whole process, okay? Um, 
I do have quite a bit of changes that are be, going to be coming in regards to how I'm going to be handling some of my money. And I'll be bringing that to you guys soon. Like I'm going to be swapping out some bills for 500s. I already ordered some. I'm also going to be um, possibly transferring some of my cash to um, a savings account online that has different accounts set up within there. So yeah, I have a few things planned of what I want to do and I'll be bringing those videos to you as well. So yeah, lots of content to come. All right. For today, let's go ahead and get started with the $700 that we have for this week. And I know what bills are already coming up before next week's um, video that I'm going to put out with the disbursement. So I kind of already know what I need to pay right now. All right. So we need to get into this. First of all, I'm going to put the date and today's date is 4-9. And um, I'm going to say income for $700. I think $700 a week is my sweet spot. That ought to be a little bit uh, extra actually. So I, I kind of like that number. And I randomly just thought about how much I used to make when I was nursing and I had automatic savings coming out and things like that. And I still made it off of about this much every two weeks. Well, 1400 every two weeks. And so I thought, let me try to see if I can make it off that now. I don't want to get into that like baller mentality you know, that one where you're like, oh, money's coming in. I could just spend, 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 spend. Because I'm telling y'all, I had a wake up call this week. OK, uh, right as I was thinking, spend, 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 God said, Boom, get back in line, man. You got things to take care of. And just like that, I came up with a new plan. <laughs> So for this pay period, what I do need to pay is my Comcast bill. And right after I have my income, I like to pay my bills first. If you've never been here, because that has to be done. These are the things that keep a roof over our head and utilities so we can stay warm and have water for showers and things like that. And then I'll stuff cash envelopes, which are like food and spending and important things that we need gas for the car. And then I go to our sinking funds or savings challenges, which is extra afterwards. I also like to put to some towards savings, okay? So for Comcast, I do need to pay for this time $170. The bill was $169.98, two cents off of what I've been budgeting, $170. So I'm gonna pay that out of this $700 that I'm taking out of my account. And by the way, this money came from Etsy sales. So thank you guys so much for everyone who supports my Etsy shop because over the last week, I took a disbursement last week, but while I was on vacation, but over the last week, that previous week, I had made um, a little over $800. So this 700 is only a portion of the Etsy money and I'm happy about it, okay? Next is um, stream. And for that one, I need to pay $82. Now, if you guys remember my stream bill is my gas bill and it was only $25 per month on a budget flat rate bill, they increased it to 82. And also in my bills budget binder, I started saving about $100 a month because I'm like, no way could I only supposed to pay $20, $25 per month for gas. That just doesn't seem right. So they increased it to 82. So that's what I need to pay for this pay period. And that's fine. And these are the only two bills that are pressing for this week. So I'm going to go ahead and add those up first. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I do have another one, which is Georgia Power. And for that one, it is $39.39, but I'm going to pay a flat $40. And my, that is my electric bill. My electric bill is so low because my gas bill is probably really astronomically higher even than this flat rate. But we're going to go with it. <laughs> so to add up the bills that I need to pay, I need to pay $170 plus $82 plus $40. And that's $292. And when I subtract $700, I have $408 remaining. Out of that 408, I do want to do giving. And that will be, I'm going to put $50 because there's quite a bit in there already. We'll move on to cash envelopes. And for cash envelopes, I do want to take gas. And I'm only going to take $60 for the week for gas. And then grocery. And I'm going to take $25 for that. Um, and if you were here before, then you already know that I have a card for groceries, but I'm just trying to stack up a little bit of money. So when those cards run out, I'll already have some grocery money saved up. Okay. So that's going to be $25. And then weekend, I also want to put $25. And finally for myself, I got to go get these nails done, y'all. It's been three weeks and look how they look. You can't hardly tell probably, but I can tell 
<laughs> so this I can add in my head. 60 plus 40 is 100 plus 225s is 150. And when we take that from minus 50, oh, wait a minute. Let's start over. 700 minus 292 equals 408 minus 50. That's 358 minus 150. So that leaves $208 remaining for me to do um, sinking funds and cash envelopes. And so I'm gonna write that number up here. I don't know exactly how much I'll be putting in Jace and Janae's because I will be doing their scratch offs for theirs. So I'm just gonna say, uh, question marks for both of theirs and then there's mine oh no wait a minute hold on I'm not taking a disbursement because I'm taking $40 for nails down here so we're not going to worry about me the only other thing I need to fund is for the car and then also um, savings challenge and that's going to be the scratch and save okay so all of this should equal 205 and I'll put a buffer of three dollars to go towards um, the bank balance. But 205 is what I have. So that will leave me with $50 remaining. And then 50 comes out goes to giving. And so that is 50 and that'll be zero. So let me just make sure this all adds up. The income, 700. The cash envelopes, 150. The sinking funds, 205 or 208 with the buffer. Savings is 50. And bills is $2.92. And that is quite sloppy, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it. <laughs> and let's just add that up. All right, so 700 minus 150 minus 208 minus 50 minus 292. That's right. That's a zero balance. And so that's how I would do my budget, even if I had a paycheck coming I would look and see how much the paycheck is, take out any bills, take out any cash envelopes, work on sinking funds and savings challenges if I can, and absolutely give some to giving. I typically give 10% to giving, but I have quite a bit in there and we're using it for the April showers. So as I need more towards the end of the month, I always can put more in there, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the cash stuffing tracker and let me just jot down what I'm gonna do really quick. I'll speed this part up. So I went ahead and filled out the denominations for the lower part of the cash envelopes because I know the exact amount. Between this, I need $200. So I'm just gonna do like this and basically try to grab some small bills. I'll probably do one, one, 150 and then for $205, we know we need a five and I'll probably do, let me see, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200. All right, so that should be 205. 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 205. Yeah, so that's 205. So I'm gonna get some smaller denominations for the um, stuffing of these because I don't know what I'll get. Actually, I might get some more fives just in case. I'll get two more fives. All right, so now I'm just gonna add the columns down. So I have three, four, five, five dollar bills for $25, two, tens for 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh -oh. 13 for 260, and then 150 for 50. Oh, and I didn't put giving. Let's put giving, and we'll do another 50. So that should be, look at all this chicken scratch, two for 100. <laughs> all right, so what I should have should be a total of 408. 408, is that right? Minus three, so 405 total because $3 is staying in the buffer. I deducted the bills out to get to 408. And I'm gonna deduct out the $3 for the buffer, but all of this cash envelope balance, all of this savings fund and sinking, uh, savings challenges and sinking funds, as well as the giving is coming out. So all of this should equal $405. So let me add that up. Hey, and just like that, we have budgeted. 
So let me run to the bank and grab these bills real quick, put it all together, and I'll be right back. Just like that. And just like that, we're back. And I have the cash here. So we should have $405, and I'm going to count it up for us first. 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 4, and 405. That's the total that we have. So let me go ahead and set the cash up first. Actually, I'm going to set this over here. So let's get into some story time, y'all. All right, let me see. Where do I begin? All right, so first of all, let's talk about the good news. Do you guys want the good news or the bad news first? The good news or the bad? I think we should go with the bad news and we'll follow up with the good news, you know, after. Because sometimes it's best to go low and then bring yourself back up before the end, all right? <laughs> so let's talk about the bad news. Um, we did go out of town for a vacation, which that's a good news, actually. Went out of town for a vacation, um, but we had several problems with storms interrupting our flights. And so where we were planning on going versus where we actually ended up going is something totally different. And in that interim, I ended up losing a deposit um, for some money that I paid on a room in Hawaii because we were going to Oahu for the week. And my niece ended up having some um, cheer practice that she had to do because she does competitive cheer. And a class got added onto her schedule at the last minute. And then the weather messed up trying to get us out west um, from storms that hit. Like so many flights were canceled leaving out of Atlanta due to storms in the southeast over the spring break week. And so, yeah, I had to end up canceling our hotel that we had at the um, Hilton Grand Vacation in Oahu, and they charged me one night stay, which was $745. Um, but my sister recouped half of that for me, so I lost out on that. Okay, that's the first bit of news, money-wise. <laughs> the sec But I did save, on a high note, I did save some money on the little vacation that we ended up just running and taking real quick because, you know, Hawaii can be quite expensive and so we ended up not being able to go. And But I don't like the fact that I spent like $350 on, or $370 rather, on something that, you know, we're never going to be able to use or have memories for. It's just like throwing it to the wind. I just got to go and move past that. All right. But another thing that happened was while we were on vacation, someone actually hacked into my walmart.com account and stole my information and made some fraudulent purchases. And they wanted to put a block on my debit card while I was out of town. I'm like, no, 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 no. I need this card to finish doing what I have to do. Whereas I had some cash that I transferred into the account. They're telling me they can clean out my whole account by just leaving the card open. But like I needed to catch an Uber back to the airport for me and my kid. And there's no way to do that with cash. So yeah, this is where a credit card would have come in handy. Um, but in the meantime, I moved the money over to my savings to kind of shelter it so they couldn't get to it. And I would just transfer it as I need it. So now I have to go get a whole new debit card and start all over. So that's number two thing that went crazy. All right, but the worst thing possible <laughs> happened to me while I was on vacation and I laugh, but it's because I believe all things are working out for our good, even though we might not be able to see it when it's happening. And that is that old Nelly got put into the shop and um, come to find out she needs a whole new engine. What? I took it to the shop so it can be there while we were out of town so I wouldn't have to really worry about it. Um, and the check engine line had been coming on and then it would, you know, the mechanic would fix it that I had that lives out of town. But he already kind of warned me that this particular card, which car, which I have a 2017 Ford Edge, that that particular car has issues with, um, is it coolant and oil mixing in the engine? And it's a known problem, but they haven't done a recall on it yet. So I'm going to be doing some research into how to see about recouping some of this money for this car. But in the interim, I had been taking it down to the mechanic and he had been fixing coils and he did a major tune-up first and then it just started to go downhill from there. The major tune-up was fine. And after that, lights started coming on over and over and over and it just hit 100,000 miles. So um, anyway, come to find out, he said there's a problem. He's a mechanic as well for Ford. So he already knew on the back end that there's a problem with this year man make of car, make model of car. So he spoke to me about it, but I was like, you know, let me just take it to the dealership when the light came back on for the third time. Let me take it to the dealership and see what they say. And they said that exact thing and called me while I was on vacation to let me know that it would be an $8,000 repair. 
$8,000? Wait, I'm sorry, sir. Did you say $8,000? That's what he said. He said $8,000. Luckily, I have some extra cars within the family, friends and family type deal. So I have a car to drive right now and I just need to go pick up my car. And there's another $100 diagnostic test to the wind um, and then bring it here and park it and decide if I want to get it repaired for the $8,000 or if I wanna find someone cheaper to do it for 5,000, the, the mechanic that works outside of the shop, he said he could do it for 5,000. So I gotta be, you know, try to figure out about that. And yeah, if you guys have any knowledge, that's why I said maybe somebody on the forum can help me. Maybe somebody here within the community can help me because if you guys know anything about how to start trying to get a company to pay for a car, it's outside of warranty because it has 100,000 miles. So um, yeah, I might just have to get it fixed right now. Used cars are so expensive. I don't wanna move into a car payment. Um, and I have another option to buy a family member's car. So I could do that instead of fixing this engine um, because somebody told me, even if you fix the engine, still the transmission can go out or some other parts. I was like, wait, the transmission is not a part of the engine. Like I have no, <laughs> no idea about cars except that you get in them. And in my particular car, you push to start and you move forward. That's it. That's what I know. Okay, it needs an oil change once in a while. That might be another fun fact or that it takes gas. Actually, regular gas. That's all I know. But outside of that, I'm not that up on cars. And so, yeah, I don't really want to get into a car payment. My sister, she's like, just go get another car. No, I don't want to. So that's the bad news bears that happened this trip. But like I said, every time something bad has happened to me, low key on the low, low, when I look back in hindsight, it really is unfolding for my good. And so I don't know how this car situation is playing into some other things in my life, but I believe that things are always working out for me. And so I'm just going to keep that hopeful spirit. And it's not like I don't have the money to get the car repairs. It's not in my car sinking fund though, right? I mean, I only have like, I think 16 or 1700 in there or 1500 or something. So it's not in there, but yeah, I got to figure it out. Anyway, that's the story time of the Bad News Bears. Let's move forward to cash stuffing the cash envelopes, and then I'll tell you guys some fun things that happened. All right, so this is my little key holder. And, uh-oh, I do have some coins in here. And I think I'm gonna put those into the penny challenge in just a little bit. But for right now, I do wanna do the cash envelope. So let me get this out of the way. Move over, Rover. There we go. All right, so we said for gas, <clears throat> I'm gonna be putting $60, which 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60 towards gas. And this is because I have my best friend's extra car and her little car is um, a Honda. So it doesn't take that much gas as my car. So there we go. That's my car gas. And for weekend, I'm gonna be taking $25, which is gonna be a 20 and a five. And this is just in case we wanna do something on the weekend small, you know what I mean? Like go to the community pool or um, go to the mall and grab some bite to eat while we're out window shopping, things like that. That's what we do with weekends. Um, for myself, I'm gonna put $40 because I already told y'all these nails have to be done. And I could take it out of my sinking fund, but I like to use that for bigger purchases, so. This is the money for my nails. That's really the only thing I can think of now. I'm telling you, you guys, we ate and did so many things while we were out there. I feel like I ought to be on rest mode for a whole nother week. <laughs> and groceries, I'm gonna put 25 as well, which is just gonna be a 20 and a five. And yeah. And it's so funny, when I was telling like my sister or my guy about my car, they're like, what, what? I'm like, calm down, it's gonna work out, don't worry. All right, so groceries, Salisa, weekend, and gas. So that is what I have to go back into my little mini cash wallet. This wallet you can find down below in the Amazon storefront. It's bomb, I don't sell it. I just uh, linked it down there so you guys can find it. But literally those little cash envelopes fit back there and then zip. Es todo, no mas, that's it, okay? Love it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is stuff some sinking funds, so let me get that binder. All right, so we only have three sinking funds to stuff, which is gonna be Jace, Janae, and the car, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start with Janae, and let me see what she has. Let me take out everything but this bill. 
Some people ask me about this manifestation bill. I got it from a crystal shop here, but I think it's linked on Amazon and I might've linked a 10 pack in my Amazon store below. Um, also, if you go on to a pink cloth life, she sells some on her website. They're not these gold ones, but she sells some manifestation bills that she made with a little quote on them that are super cute. So you guys can find something like this there as well. Um, and yeah, just helps me to be reminded of what I asked for. Okay. All right, so Janae has 775, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, seventy-five. And today, I'm gonna use one of these quarters. We're going to be scoot that back. We're gonna scratch this one and see. Uh okay. <laughs> A skip or double. Now remember, I only have two hundred dollars between the two kids and the savings challenge that I want to do. So $200 total. So we're going to skip her double and we're going right to the next one because I'm not even playing. Okay, 35. So she's going to get 70 of the $200. Go nay. Look at her. Look at her grow. You know, her birthday's coming up soon. So I'm going to use the birthday fund for that. But for her, I'm going to get take the 150 that I got and a 20. So that'll be 50, 70 going into her envelope. Grow forward then, ma'am. All right, let's see what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fifty, eight, eight, twenty, forty, eight, forty-five. All right then. All right, so let's see. Plus seventy. So she has eight forty-five. Go nay. What? She killing it. Don't get it twisted. If I need the money out of there for to fix my car, then I'll take it right out of these kids' accounts. I sure would. All of my sinking funds are saving. And if that means if something comes up that I need to take some money out because it needed to be saved for, then I'm going to take it out of wherever I need to. Just so y'all know my philosophy about it. But for right now, I don't think we'll need it. I mean, I do have some money in an emergency fund and we'll see how it goes. Oh, this is her tracker. Hold on. But just so you guys know how I think about the accounts. All right, so for Jay, somebody told me to check Jay's account. I forgot who it was, but let me check and see what he got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fifty, seventy-five. Yeah, that's right, seven seventy-five. All right, and so for him, we're gonna scratch off this one. Y'all, if this is skip or double two, we might not even have no savings challenge or no karma. Got to be more careful. Do you see this? It's like the luck, the luck that I possess. All right, we're gonna do this one. Oh, his is only 15, so he's gonna get 30. So that's not too bad. All right, so he only got 15, so that's only $30, and that's not too bad. So that's 20 and 30. So between the two of them, I actually ended up stuffing $100 today. So let me add this 30 to him. And that means that I have another 105 to work with for savings challenges. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fifty. 70, 90, 805. So he has 805. Let me add his in here. That wasn't so bad. I really was like, oh my gosh, not again. <laughs> not, not again. These savings challenges, scratch offs are double sided. So this one you'll save 75 or more. This side you'll save 200 or more. I also have one that's 300 or more or 400 and more on the back side. And those can be found down below in my Etsy storefront. And you too could be scratching yourself off some challenges. Okay. Um, so check the link down below for that. All right, moving on. That was Chase. I need to see, um, before I stuff any in car, I need to see how much is going into scratch off challenge. So I do have, those are the mini scratch off challenges that I just used, but I do have a large scratch off challenge. So let me get that. Oh, you know what I just noticed? I need to do giving. Hold on, before I scratch that off, let me do giving. Giving. Giving has one, two, three, four, five, five fifty, five sixty, and we're gonna put another fifty dollar bill in there today. So far, this one has one, two, three, four, five, five fifty six, six ten, and that's because I never heard from the first winner. But I'm gonna reach out. I reached out to her on her YouTube video, but I'm gonna reach out to her again. So I have six hundred and ten in giving, and now the rest of this should be the one hundred five. 
That's left, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 1, 105. Yeah, so 105 is left. And that's what we're gonna use to work for scratch off savings challenges and then put some into car as well. All right, so let's start this scratch off challenge first so we can see how much of this 105 and we'll know how much is gonna go into car. Low key, there's no way that this savings amount that I had to work with, $200 could pay for that car. So I'm gonna continue to move as normal because I have seen things show up in my life in miraculous ways and I'm waiting for that, okay? In the meantime, I'm moving forward as usual. So don't question why I didn't put this whole 105 over in the car. It's gonna take me forever to get to $8,000, right? So yeah, that's not enough. All right, let's go. So I wanna continue on doing my other savings challenges and figuring it out another way. All right, so the one we're gonna pick, let's see. This one. This is the one I want, I think. Don't let it be a skipper devil. I ain't got time today. Oh, yay! Yay! It's 50. All right, so I scratched off 50 for my $2,000 scratch and save challenge. And what is that? 50? Yeah, 50. So now I need to put that in here, scratch and save. You guys, I'm gonna learn how to say my whole intro in Spanish. Hola, mi nombre es Elisa. I don't know, I don't know how to say beautifully me and you. Somebody put that down in Spanish for me. Put down in Spanish how to say from beautifully me and you. Come on, Vicky, help me out. Okay, so, <laughs> or somebody that speaks Spanish. Anybody speak Spanish, put it down there so I can learn how to do it. All right, so, and that'd be the question. Do any of you actually speak a second language? And if you do, what is it? And if you don't, it's okay. Because, I mean, I, I took, I don't know. I want to say I took three years of Spanish in high school in California. And, yeah, I, I kind of remember, like, numbers. I don't know how to conjugate verbs. That's my problem. I can understand what you're talking about, but I can't really say it all. So, um, and a lot of food I know how to say because I'm a foodie. And I know how to say some things about, like, um, checkis and you know about accounts because I used to work at a bank so yeah okay anyway fun facts about me all right <laughs> so we're gonna add 50 in there today and that's gonna make it 695 right now it should have 645 1 2 3 4 5 6 20 45 and we're gonna add 50 out of our little money that we have here and ironically enough like people have been asking me what are you gonna do with your um savings challenges Honey, my savings challenges might be going towards this car now, right? <laughs> Before I was like, um, I'm undecided. I haven't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe put it to an emergency fund. I don't know. Feeling all like, you know, liberated within my choices. Um, yeah, no, it's been chosen for me. So if you don't choose, it gets chosen for you. I have 695 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. 695. In the scratch and save challenge. Look, I gotta start making some decisions, okay? And then that way it won't be decided for me. But it's okay, it's gonna work out. All right, so that means remaining, I have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then all this change. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put 40 into the car account and I'll figure out a way to get that to the penny challenge, okay? So let's do 40 into our car fund. This way we'll be able to see what we got now. I think it's about 15 or 1600, maybe. Oh my gosh, I think it's less than that. <laughs> it's 14, 1400's in there, 1000's in the bank. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna add these 220s, 1440s. Oh, y'all gonna see me work through this one. Watch, watch God pull a miracle on me. I know this how he worked, right? So we're gonna see, 1440. All right, 1440 in car, which is, and I remember I kept saying, oh, I just wanna make sure I get to at least 1500 in case something goes wrong. I have a newer car, nothing's gonna happen. Please, I found an article online about how these cars, specifically my make and model year, always have issues with the engine going out. I cannot. All right, so let me get the penny challenge real quick. Let me get this off the table. Let me get the penny challenge real quick and we're gonna work on seeing what we could do with this change and these bills to get some more of that done. Hold on one second. Oh no, do you see what I see? 
Um, yeah, there's no more small ones. <laughs> Man, I barely made it to the next one. Fifteen ninety six. Fifteen. Oh, wow. Okay, what's the next one? Sixteen forty five. Fifteen sixteen forty four. Sixteen forty four. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do 1596. I brought out two markers. I was like, oh, we're going to color two pennies today. Uh, no, ma'am, you're not because you don't have enough. So we're going to color one, <laughs> which is 1596. Bam. And I'm going to put all of this, which is 1644, into the jar. This is where I've been keeping my penny challenge. Sometimes I put more than what the little envelopes, I mean, what the little penny says, if I have it. Today happens to be one of those days. But we know at the end of this challenge, I will have at least $667.95. Mine will be more than that because of these little nickels and dimes I've been adding extra. And there we go. That, my friends, is the penny challenge. So now onto the fun things. What did we end up doing for spring break? Well, we have to flight down to New Orleans. My son has never been to New Orleans. I've been there several times. It's a quick flight. It had warm weather. And there were a few activities we can squeeze in in our little four-day stay because we had to cut our vacation short due to, you know, some other classes that my niece had. And so for that, with that being said, I put together some snippets and clips of some things that we did while we were there. It's going to be about five minutes. So if you want to watch it, watch it. If not, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you for being here. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can be a part of the April shower giveaways as well. If I didn't mention, you need to pick a number between 1 and 50 for this video, as well as answer the question that was embedded within the video and be subscribed in order to have a chance to win on my next video. And let's see, what else is there? Comment. You already know what to do with that. Hit the like button because it helps the video to be suggested to others who might need the content or who might want to be just inspired about how to create a budget and how to set it up for beginners. And wait, like, share. Oh, and share. Share the video. Did I say share? Yeah, share the video as well with someone else that you know, if you can. And that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoy some of the clips from our New Orleans trip. And I will see you again very shortly. We about to be on a roll now. We on a roll. Take care. Welcome to the Atlanta airport, you guys. So yeah, the flights were really slim pickings due to all the cancellations and the weather. So we got a flight down there on Frontier, but we came back on Delta and we packed us some snacks so that we'd have a couple of things um, to eat on and munch on without having to purchase on Frontier. So he brought him some Takis and then we took off and there was so much turbulence due to the bad weather. But when we landed, I think all of that, we forgot about it and we just enjoyed our time. If you end up in New Orleans, go to the Ruby Slipper Cafe. We call this an appetizer, but it was French toast bites with cream cheese and some bourbon sauce. And then my son had some breakfast tacos. He didn't finish them all. And I had an omelet with potatoes and biscuit. And this was one of our favorite meals. Next, we moved on to the aquarium. And I'm just going to insert some clips of all the different animals here. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Look at him, look at him. He's just trying to get in the video. Okay, so this fish swam around and then stood still, and I don't know if you guys see it, but right behind his eye, do you see Michael Jackson? Cause I swore I saw Michael Jackson on this fish. They had so many different types of jellyfish and I think these are the most interesting animal ever. I can sit here and stare at this forever. It doesn't matter what variety, they absolutely amaze me. Look, 
Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing right here. <laughs> I was trying to get his buddy in here. He come with his big mouth open. <laughs> he out here. He tired. And he out here just turning his head like nonchalant. I feel like what? What are y'all doing? When we got done at the aquarium, we were already walking past it to get back to our hotel, a high-end mall. So we stopped in and took some pictures in there and kind of did some window shopping. And then yes, I found Chinese food in New Orleans and it was delicious. Fried rice, we even had some soup dumplings that I didn't have pictured. And this is green beans with shrimp. So next we decided to go out on the bayou and do a swamp tour. This was a different day. And um, yeah, they feed the alligators marshmallows and this guy's feeding one with his hand. And then he even gave it a kiss. <laughs> anyway, on our boat, it was so pretty out there, really swampy and just unique looking. And then one of the tour guides told us we can throw marshmallows off the end and the alligator will swim up to it to get it. Who knew alligators love marshmallows? I didn't. The kids were having such a good time. That little girl that you heard being so happy just was so proud of herself. And so I told her she did a good job because she threw the marshmallow right in the middle between a bunch of gators and two of them fought over it. It's so cute. And all the kids were having so much fun. As we stood on one side of the boat, I'm like, maybe we should balance it out because I don't want to tip the boat with all these gators in the water. And that's when the father of the little girl next to me dropped his phone right in there with the alligators. There you go. There you go. No trip is ever complete to New Orleans without some char-grilled oysters, so yeah. This restaurant happened to be out of the French quarters and the tour guide told us this is where the locals go. I don't know if that's true, but the food was really delicious. And then we decided to go on a cemetery tour at night because we already had the swamp tour booked in the morning and y'all, okay. That's all I'm gonna say is y'all, okay. We ended our night out with some gelato. I had some black currant coffee and chocolate and the black currant one was the best thing I've ever tasted. And yeah, while this wasn't all of our trip, I thought I'd show you guys a few snippets of our four day getaway. And yeah, we had fun. Thanks for watching.